This is the real question right here, y'all. Worst hookup. Recent worst hookup. Shorty was using straight teeth on my shit. I'm talking about... Um, yeah. She fished the them out of the trash, untied it, and put the opening end into her vagina. Yo, what's up, y'all boys, man? Welcome back to the podcast. And, you know what I'm saying? Today, we got a special guest, man. Dave, introduce yourself, my nigga. Yo, what's good, man? It's the boy Dave, bro. If y'all don't know me, man, no problem, no problem. But I have to stop by, man. We've been trying to get this together for a minute, and it's nice to be here, man. Can't complain. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I bought my boy through, you feel me? And y'all go check out his shit. It'll be in the description down below. Check out his streams. They be funny as hell. And second of all, dude, if you it. like the intro, my nigga, you better sub up because it's going to be lit. And if you don't sub up, my nigga, something bad going to happen to you. Oh, God. So you better <laughs> sub up. But, <laughs> but with that being said, let's sub right into the vid. <laughs> You see me? Do you see Dave? Isn't it giving Napoleon ice cream? You're not funny. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I was thinking more of an Oreo. Bro, what the f what did you just say? <laughs> this must <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> so is the funniest nigga I ever seen. But I just wanna give a PSA <laughs> out there. Coyla Ray is a whack ass rapper. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all niggas say, my nigga. If you feminists trying to cancel me, y'all can suck a dick, bro. Coyla Ray is ass. Didn't she start twerking? Like, after she stopped running out of shit to say? Yeah, she started twerking with the skinny bones, the little pancakes. She was trying to twerk them. She, this shit was not moving either, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> All you hear is keys jiggle type shit. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. To be in everyone's reaction, I never heard this. Cause what the fuck is she saying? This is even worse than that Iggy Azalea moment. Fire marks, tire marks, finish line with fire marks. When the real lace starts to move on the train, master, she knows the best. What? <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. Is this for real? Wait, let it play through, let it play through, bro. Your bench would do like, don't like that. Your fence is one of my fences. You ain't gotta get a bitch, pass the rapture. Wipe me, scrape it, look like a me. Shut up, bitch! Oh! Hey! hey, hey. Was that real or edited, bro? Because what the fuck was she saying? She said a whole lot of nothing, my nigga. Hey, y'all. She said a whole lot of nothing, bro. Bro, I let me get famous, cause like, what man, the fuck? Man, listen, man. I'm tired of y'all niggas, but y'all niggas hype out bad rap, bro. Like, that shit is terrible music. I don't, nobody right here can tell me right that was good music. You feel me? And, a nigga, they're cheery in the crowd. Like, this is, like, really good. Like, y'all don't even know what she said. <laughs> that bitch said Australian yeah. sausage, some master, all type of shit, monkey. I don't know. Hey, y'all, just listen. They got subtitles. Hey, y'all gotta be, y'all gotta, <laughs> hey, listen, y'all gotta, y'all gotta start hyping up this badass rap, you feel me? Cause I'm tired of this moment where I've been on my goddamn front page of every fucking, Music acts. You know what I'm saying? Acts. <laughs> hey, baby. You still by your girl? It looks like she was trying to catch him lacking, but he caught her lacking. She's in the best position she can be just to look over his shoulder and pretend she's asleep. God damn, my dog. Clean with a pull up. Fire, oh. bro. Wow. Never mind. <laughs> 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 Funny thing is, you got girls these days with 2,000 followers that think they're alias celebrities, and they've posted about 150 pictures of themselves. Which, like I said before, it's a red flag. Hey, Danielle, you want to have a sleepover tonight? Sure. I'm a sleep talker, though. Is that cool? Yeah, you can sleep on the ground. All right. What Imagine the next day she confronts him about what he says, and he just says, look, I'm a sleep talker, unless you want to. All right, yeah, I'm going to say this real quick. Some of these clips be ass, so if you don't commentate, it's because they ass. Like, that clip right there was Yeah, ass, I was like, huh? You know what I'm saying? That clip was ass. But I was confused as <laughs> shit. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. We only don't stop on the good clips. Yeah. That was your last straw. I ain't going to cap. You are <laughs> cut the fuck off. Bro, someone in the comments said you was already on thin ice. <laughs> Man, that's what I mean. You can't just go for someone just because of their personality or just because of their looks. You gotta have the balance. Otherwise, what's the f***ing point in being with someone? Wait, question. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Let me go back real quick. This nigga right here got these big ass horse teeth and fat ass lips. What is this nigga talking about? That nigga Yo, he got the he got the gym he got the gym carry mask teeth, bro. Holy fuck! You, you, you no. know the nigga be spitting when he be talking. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Yo, why he little? I thought that was th uh, thugger for a second, bro. I thought that was Young Thug. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> nigga, That's crazy. Nigga, nigga, like a mix between Young Thug and Quavo. 
I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> G- <laughs> That's crazy as fuck. His lip looks fucking swollen. What kind of veneers you got, my nigga? God damn. <laughs> Big ass horse in his mom. Hey, y'all, PSA. This is like, listen, I'm on some real shit. I'm gonna stop joking, but y'all need to be comfortable in your natural bodies. Cause y'all go get this plastic surgery shit and y'all be looking goofy as fuck. This Ooh. unnatural shit do no, not man. look cool, my nigga. Men or women, I'll go I've been fuck telling people this, bro. I don't know where BBLs took the fuck off. Y'all niggas be built like custom created WWE superstars, my nigga. Bro. <laughs> like I'm not playing. Bro, these BBL Y'all, uh, like you you disproportionate. Built like goddamn ants, bro. Oh god. Yeah. I'll, I always say this. If y'all get the BBL, get the thigh package. I know Dr. Miami be trying to upscale the fuck at you for the thigh package, but you gotta buy it. Cause you come out looking worse than before, my nigga. You might as well be looking like a guy that I really look like SpongeBob natural then spend like 20k on the BBL with no thigh package because you just look worse. You really? I'm a guy. Yeah. I'm just saying. That's tragic. That's tragic, bro. Oh, yeah. I really feel bad for people who get that because thighs don't be matching, bro. And <laughs> shit be just looking like, I don't know, bro. Be looking like a stuffed water balloon. It just, it, yeah, like if you're finna go to somebody, spend your money, right? I'm not telling you how to spend your money, but if you're gonna get some shit, Get the high quality shit. Come on, man. <laughs> exactly. And and that's where this clip it was toxic, but it was not in, that entertaining. But that nigga just looked goofy, so I had to comment on it. You feel me? Personality or just because of that looks, you gotta have the balance. Otherwise, what's the fucking point in being with someone? Wait, question: What makes coochie bad? I feel like it's high. They fuck back. Dry is up to y'all, motherfuckers. Y'all ain't make me wet enough. <laughs> this this the real question right here, y'all. Worst hookup, recent worst hookup. Shorty was using straight teeth on my shit. I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Troy, yeah. We gotta talk about. At that, that point, hey, look, ladies, if you for me and I just and like you give me it and I make you stop, just to, that means that the head wasn't good. I'm looking for something better. <laughs> I've said it before and I'm saying it again. There ain't nothing worse than a cheese grill. And if we stop a lady from giving us, that must mean that shit is a, a two pack of ass. <laughs> hey, hey. I'ma come in and say, what well, that nigga said was straight facts, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie to you. It's straight facts. You know what I'm saying? And you, hey, and y- y'all be, these new females be having these veneers out, you feel me? Them deer teeth do not feel Thanks. good, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You ask, hey, take them motherfuckers out and use them gums, my nigga. Oh, God. Take them veneers out. Oh, and come my down God. To it. Oh, God. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> What's I'm not say, gonna baby? lie, bro. He said cheese grater, and I was really thinking that shit. The last thing you want is somebody literally shredding your shit. And they doing that shit with full force. I'm not going <laughs> to lie, bro. Some of y'all is not like that, bro. And I ain't going to lie, bro. Some dudes, not me. I don't got no issues there. Some dudes don't know what they be doing in the bedroom. But some of y'all girls be Freddy Krueger and the fuck out of y'all boyfriends. But they not going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with a motherfucker, bro. Okay. Yo, stop doing this. Like Troy said, take the fucking teeth out. Put the put the veneer glue on your gums and you're good. Come on, man. Yeah, use them gums. And, and number two. Just cause you fuck a lot of people don't mean you can fuck good. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it twisted now. Just cause you can fuck a lot of people don't mean you fuck good. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I get out of there. That's go for men and women, my nigga. I don't care if you slam, if you slam all these thoughts out here, you a thought slam, my nigga. If you can only hit from the back, nigga, you lame as fuck. Oh god. And for the females, if you can lay on your back like a fucking starfish, you lame too, my nigga. Get some goddamn skills and some stamina, stupid ass. You feel me? Let's get started. Back in two minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some don't look right here, bro. This man looks like he's pushing P. Start the video over normal Oreo, and now we're going to the reverse Oreo. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, that looks like a scene from Get Out. For the, uh, that's what yeah. came in my head for the first. But number two, hey, let's give him a round of applause, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Young nigga, you catching some W's. And he looked like he a fat nigga too, you feel me? No disrespect, but he looked like he on the bigger side. So, you feel me? My nigga might be funny or some shit, but we gotta give him a round of applause because, you feel me? He did, it was a, it was a W at the end of the day, you feel me? We can't hate on that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's friendly and there's too friendly. And the girl that says she's got a flirty personality is full of cap. She picks and chooses who she flirts with. She don't flirt with her family members. Hey, y'all. Nope, nope. Hey, y'all, right here. This shit right here is facts, y'all. Y'all, don't... Re- hey, listen. PSA. If you run into any female 
any woman, because I don't want to be disrespectful, and I say I don't mean a disrespectful way, but any woman, girl, whatever, that I say this, I'm, I'm, just, I'm flirty, y'all, that's a red flag, my nigga. Like, if you, you know what I'm saying, if you just smashing and dipping, it is what it is, but do not try to cuff that, my nigga, because you don't, <laughs> you don't end up on, you know what I'm saying, you don't end up on the shade room, my nigga, you feel me? Your girl ain't here with other niggas. You know what I'm saying? This, this how niggas get screenshotted and shit. Don't, no girl is not... Listen. No girl it has a flirty personality. It's the difference between nice, being nice, and flirting is different, my nigga. Y'all gotta recognize that shit. Don't let nobody finesse you and manipulate you to think that shit is normal. Yeah, bro. Let me just add on that and piggyback off of the statement you just said. There's something truly off about motherfuckers who openly say... I have a flirty personality and it always comes with a package. It's not just that I have a flirty personality. Oh, I'm only friends with guys. Guys are less drama. We know what this fucking shit mean, but then you go ahead and say you got a flirty personality. Why do you want to flirt, my nigga? <laughs> it's always a package deal, Troy. I'm telling you, man. That shit crazy. <laughs> oh, God. The personality is full of cap. She picks and chooses who she flirts with. She don't flirt with her family members. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucy. There's a lot of men mad in the comments, but I don't know why we're being dense and pretending we already didn't know this. I just apply her honesty. Like, if Drake DMs your girl, she's gone. To be honest, I don't applaud her honesty. She could have been honest about a lot of other things, and I might have applauded, but for that, I ain't gonna applaud. But I get what he's saying. Let's be honest. Most women would leave their man for Drake or a guy that has a lot of money. Girls that obsessed with social media and having that amazing lifestyle would leave you a drop of a hat. All right, y'all. I I gotta talk about this clip because I've been seeing it. I seen I saw this on Twitter before, but let me just go back so y'all can see what we talk about real quick, man. Listen, number one, to the woman out here listening, this cause Drake hits you up and wanna fuck you don't mean he giving you a dime of his money. So you don't waste your time. You know what I'm saying? You waste your damn time <laughs> going out there to fly to Drake to get fucked and get no money in return. Number two, <laughs> If your girl is entertaining other niggas, period, my nigga, she not for you, my nigga. And don't let that shit slide. A lot, a lot of niggas let shit slide with they, with their girls and let their girls fuck up. And no, 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 no. Your girl, she even showing this activity, man. Kick that bitch to the curb, my nigga. And save your, save your time and energy. Don't put it towards no negative shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the most important thing like, in this life. I gotta disagree with what he said. I don't know if he said most girls. I feel like most girls would actually. Let me go back. But there are a few rare ones who, even if they offend you, bro, they don't give a fuck about your money. None of that. Those are the rare breeds. Most girls, I feel like, literally would fall into this trap, bro, and literally think they're getting a dime out of you. You're not getting shit and do realize you're replaceable. We just saw an issue with this where the baby was on live with, I guess, his side piece, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're crazy, bro. You're yeah, crazy. And see, I gotta see it's for the females. I just want to let y'all know. Y'all finna, Drake, Drake finna fly you out, finna, and you finna be in, you finna get hit from the back for five minutes to get a mediocre dick, and he finna <laughs> send you back out to your house, and, and you not finna have no boyfriend, and you finna be mad as fuck. You ain't getting no dime Why out of him. I give you a flight home, bro? <laughs> yeah, he gave you a one-way. <laughs> what did you talk about? <laughs> he getting a one-way, and you paying for the Uber back to your hotel. You're not staying at his crib. Don't get it fucked up. And number two, to my fellas out here, if you, if, if you, if you got a girl, or uh, whatever she is, Somebody that's about to be your girl, she's showing this behavior, cut that joint off because, like I always say, time is something that you can never get back, my nigga. That's what, that's sure. probably the only thing in this the lifetime you can never get back. So don't waste your time on, on negative people, you know what I'm saying? Like, be smart. If you got a girl who's obsessed with social media, bro, these are the kind, he's talking about you. If your girl is obsessed with social media, all this drama shit, all this celeb shit, she already there, bro. So you better be careful. Watch your girls out here, man. But that ain't gonna applaud. But I get what he's saying. Let's be honest. Most women would leave their man for Drake or a guy that has a lot of money. Girls that obsessed with social media and having that amazing lifestyle would leave you a drop of a hat. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. Speaking of your boy Drizzy Drake, Drake's been in the headlines recently. I'm sure you've heard. Drake recently met up an IG girl. They had a little smoke. They ended up smashing. And to make sure she didn't steal his babies, which she did try and do, Drake put some hot sauce in the to kill the bacteria and kill any sperm that was there and it seemed like he was right to do it because she went in the bathroom tried to pour it down her snatch with her legs up in the air and start screaming in pain because she just poured hot sauce down her pussy. Drake runs in the bathroom and he tells her yeah I did do that. She's actually trying to sue him for stealing his seed and the funniest thing is everyone's going crazy about the hot sauce but I'm just sitting here thinking what the f how's this woman getting away with that and now you can see why it does that type of shit. 
I mean, it literally says she fished the them out of the trash, untied it, and put the opening end into her vagina. Get some help. <laughs> like, what the f*** are you doing? She knows if she has Dre's kid, she secured the bag for life. And it's crazy, because this guy's wearing condoms thinking they won't get trapped. And I said this yesterday, keep it strapped and you won't get trapped. But it seems it doesn't even matter these days. Just carry around some f***ing hot sauce. And she's never going to be able to sue Drake for that. <laughs> if anything, he should be suing her. So I'm glad she probably won't get away with it. And I'm glad the internet's seeing the funny side of it. you got to see some of these memes, man. So she admitted she's guilty of trying to eliminate herself. Congratulations, you played yourself. Drake right now. Picked up some new game today. Yeah, carry around hot sauce because noms ain't enough. When you get caught pouring hot sauce into the noms. <laughs> when Drake walked in the oh, bathroom and saw flames coming from her Gotcha, bitch. Drake leaving the hotel lobby <laughs> that night. Drake on his way to home after finishing. I mean, to that woman, there's obviously only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets. All right, yeah, that's a little bit, but I gotta. Let's end off on a on a good note. Let me let me go back to you. Let me show y'all a good clip on the deal before we talk. You know what I'm saying? Number one, W Drake. First of all, number two, I'm gonna say Man. you a nasty ass shorty if you <laughs> if you try to. If you try to turkey base your semen back into you, you a nasty ass drone. I don't give a fuck what nobody tell you. You know what I'm saying? And number number three though, hey, since since they getting exposed, hey, we need a little miniature hot hot sauce packet in every box of condoms. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We need oh it. <laughs> we need it right here for the. Hey, we call it the, this the Drake way right here. You feel me? Y'all stay safe right here. And y'all gotta listen to y'all gotta listen, man. I know Drake is famous and. All y'all gonna say, well, it won't happen to me, I'm not famous. Y'all, these shorties just crazy out here, man. Don't you never be, know, bro. Don't be like, hey, y'all, flush that, flush that bit down the toilet, whatever, whatever. Get that shit out of the way. Don't leave that shit lying around where you can get finessed like this and be wondering how shorty has your baby when, when, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just be safe. Bruh, first of all, I think Drake just put Plan B out of business, my nigga. I'm not gonna lie to you. Dude, <laughs> what brand hot sauce did he use, bro? Because I'm curious now. We need the strongest hot sauce to assemble this shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie, you see the you see the hot sauce on the keychain. We need that shit. You see the 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 hot sauce flavor combos, bro. We need that shit. Stay strapped out here. It's so sad the lengths that certain women will go through to trap you, bro. You can't be mad at nobody but yourself. You in the fucking bathroom upside down on a toilet trying to get pregnant. Now look at you, Gucci burning. Yeah, icy hot, huh? Yeah, bro, I know that shit. I heard it, bro. That's crazy. And the shit didn't look red to you? Like, you didn't see no red flags? Hey, come on, now. Hey, Shorty, you doing this? Shorty was seeing green. Like? She was seeing green, nigga. She saw the money. She said, hey, bro. Go, fuck, it was red, bro. Oh, God. But, yeah, listen, like I said, y'all don't think <laughs> this will happen to you. Don't think this will happen, especially to, to listen, I'm going to say this out here. To y'all motherfuckers that, that's, that, Fit the stereotypical man that woman want nowadays. I'm talking to you light skinned motherfuckers that got curly hair. You motherfuckers, especially if you work out and you know what I'm saying. If they see you athletic, my nigga, they don't. You know what I'm saying. Be careful, cause it can't happen to you. You know what I'm saying. Just be careful, cause like I said, these women is crazy nowadays. Y'all don't understand how crazy some of these women is nowadays, man. Y'all think this shit be cap? You listen, man. This this is just one of the few stories. I'm pretty sure this happened to a lot of celebrities. They just never aired this bitch out like that. You know what I'm saying? That's, so y'all yeah, just got to be sad, bro. That shit is that shit's scary. <laughs> then people, you're not gonna see any major celebrity or artist that's a female comment on this situation. You want to know why? Because motherfuckers got caught in 4K. It's not y'all business to comment on it. I get that, but at the same time, some of y'all gotta take this L because I don't see any women. At all on TikTok, Twitter, saying how wrong this shit is. And I'm not saying dox this lady, don't do no crazy shit like that. But she does need to be held accountable because you could have ruined this man's fucking life, bro. I'm not trying to cancel nobody. Nobody. Come on, man. You in a fucking bathroom upside down trying to get pregnant, bro. I'm wrapping old condoms. No, who know how long the condom was sitting there, bro? Like dead ass. She was, been all warm was crusty, and shit. crusty as hell. <laughs> You dripping down on flakes. It's not even the fucking cum no more. You dripping flakes out the shit. Like, come on, man. Silly. And then on top of that, man, this another message for y'all boys. I always say this in my podcast. 
I know y'all see the, I know y'all see, y'all see the zones out here, they got the BBLs, whatever, she got a fat ass, whatever. Y'all need to stop trying to fuck these hoes as fast as possible. Cause, this how you get into fucked up situations, man. But these, these are the ones that be causing trouble, that be crazy. The women that you be trying, that look <laughs> bad, that whatever, that you be trying to fuck on the first night. You feel me? Cause you can't end up like Drake. You know what I'm saying? Or worse than Drake, my nigga. You can't end up, you can't end up with a false case in your name, my nigga. Like, this shit happen all the time, so stop. Like I say, stop judging these women by the appearance, you feel me? And before you do anything, I mean anything that, that could get you fucked up, make sure that you know, their head is right, my nigga. Make sure they straight in the head, because you could be fucked up like this. I'm telling y'all, I don't want y'all boys to end mm-hmm. up like, like, like a lot of these, like Drake is lucky, you feel me, that Drake used that, uh, that counter card on her, you feel me? That Uno reverse on her shit. But a lot of niggas didn't get to do that. And, <laughs> and it's fucked up with babies now. And I say this all the time, the government does not care if you're a man, and she, let's say she did do this right and had a baby. Drake still has to take care of that baby. The government doesn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And it was going to task him with child support. Y'all see these celebrities with child support getting tasked the fuck out right now because the government don't give a fuck. As a man, you're at a great disadvantage when it comes to kids or anything like that against women. You feel me? We all wear, we already have a negative connotation towards ourselves, even though it's only a small minority of men that do fucked up shit. The world sees us as evil motherfuckers, bro. You can go on Twitter right now and see all these women talk about men ain't shit, blah, 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 all that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta be careful and play defense, you feel me? Don't be out here trying to go crazy. Play defense so you don't end up in fucked up situations. I say it all the time. X. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> real shit. That's the end of the bit, man. <laughs> That's the end of the bit, yeah. man. You feel me? They, the they, the first day. Nah, I'm a, this right here, this right here might be the thumbnail on guy. <laughs> I got you, I got you, yo, that shit, this, it's, bro, I did not believe this shit when I was told about it. Now that I'm hearing about this everywhere, it's crazy. Sad, bro. Oh yeah. Sad. <laughs> but, but peace out, boys, for watching the goddamn video, man. Uh, shout out to my boy Dan for being the first guest on the podcast, you feel me? Many more guests to come, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but that being said, it, this show was fun, man. We got to yeah. do this again. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, Dave's going to be on the podcast a few times, my nigga. So if y'all don't go sub to his channel there. right now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are weird. You're weird. Sub to his channel right now. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? It's the end of the video. We're getting y'all some funny ass content. Y'all better sub to his channel. Turn on notifications. And they, my, my nigga, Dave, what? What you at? Uh, seven. I'm at like 760, bro. That's 760? crazy. My nigga Dave at 760, oh, yeah. man. Let's get Dave to 1K, you feel me? My, my, my nigga Dave got, sure. you know what I'm saying? He got family and shit. He trying to make this full time, you feel me? Nobody want to work a 9 to 5, you know what I'm saying? That's shit not fun. So, let's have my boy yeah, Dave get, <laughs> yep, have my boy Dave get the 1K. And if you watch his vids or his streams, watch to the end, because you know what I'm saying? You need, what, 4,000 watch, watch hours or some shit? 4,000? Yeah, you need 4,000 hours of watch time, bro. And you need 1,000 subs, and then you can get monetized. The money not gonna pour in like crazy, but it's only uphill from there, man. So we grind in this year. Exactly. The year man. of content creators, no cap. So if y'all that's just a PSA to y'all. If y'all watching a small content creator, man, sub up to their channel if you fuck with them and watch their vid all the way through because you need a lot of watch time to get monetized, you feel me? So and the more t- the more time that we have to put into the channel, the better quality you get, you feel me? So you help us out, we help you out. That's how it works. So <laughs> but that being said, I hope y'all <laughs> enjoyed the enjoyed the episode, man. I hope y'all enjoyed my guest Dave. Right here, go sub out to him. Like I said, I hope y'all day was good. And with that being said, have a good night. Peace out.